Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, July the 14th, 2022. It is currently 3.22 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from Abilene, Texas. And we need to talk about a very important update to a very important app. Now, for some of you, you already know about it because you pay attention to when updates are available for the different apps you have on your mobile device. You may have it already set up for automatic updates, so it just does it automatically. You may never even think about it. You may not even care. But when certain apps are not updated, well, you don't have access to certain features. So I'm one of those that somewhat is obsessive, always, every day, going to the app store, making sure, is there any updates for any of the apps I use? Any updates? Any updates? Because I always want the latest updates, because I always want the apps that I'm using working and giving me the latest feature. So I'm obsessive about it. But I have seen so many times people like, this app isn't working. And you look at them like, because you haven't updated it since 1999. So maybe it's time. So I know that, I know, I'm not trying to be mean. But yeah, a lot of times, I will, like, this thing stopped working. I'm like, when was the last, and you'll look at, let's say they're using an, uh, an iPhone. When was the last time you updated your iOS operating system? It's, this is like dated, I don't know, 1743. Like, do the updates, people. But a lot of times people don't do the updates updates. But today, we have to talk about an update. All right? This is important. If you listen to us, we keep telling you to download the Church One app. Go to your app store of choice, Google Play or Apple App Store. uh, Simply do a search for Church O-N-E, Church One, Church O-N-E, all run together, Church O-N-E, download the app. Once you download the app, you have to search for Theology Central. Select us as your chosen broadcaster, your broadcaster of choice, and that turns the Church One app into the Theology Central app. And then you have access to all of our content, and you can listen to us live. And here's what's even best. Whenever we go live, you get an actual notification that we're going live because there are other apps where we go live on and people never get a notification. Never. Okay. So we have tried to find it. We've tried to make our content available on as many platforms as possible, but the church one app has been the absolute best at sending out those notifications for both Apple devices. And I know this is shocking. It even works for Android devices. I know. Can you, I, I, I was shocked by that somewhat of a joke, but when we used to have a standalone app of our own, it, we could never get things to work for Android devices. It worked for the Apple devices, but not the Android. So in this case, it works for both. Well, it did until a couple of days ago because they gave it, they released an update to the Church One app and boom, the notification died. It was the end of it. No notifications were being sent out, which really defeats one of the main reasons we want people using it. So as of today, in fact, as of just a few hours ago, maybe not even a few hours ago, I don't know exactly the exact minute it was available, but as soon as I saw that it was available, I started telling people, you can go now to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and get the latest version of the Church One app. The Church One app, if you already have it, go to your app store and make sure it's updated, all right? If you don't have it, download it right now and choose, again, search for Theology Central and make us your broadcaster of choice because I, here's the thing, and I don't apologize for saying this because I know it, it may, some people may accuse this of being like, you're bragging or whatever, but I, it's not even, a, I'm just trying to, not to be boastful, just to be as honest as I can. Of all the broadcasters on, say, Sermon Audio, who, that you may want to get a notification for when they go live, I, I know this, you would want to get notifications for us just because of the fact that you would actually be using the notification system because we go live three, sometimes three, four times a day. So the other broadcasters, they may only go live maybe once a week, 
maybe once a day, maybe what, you know, I don't even know, not that much. But for us, if you, if you choose us as your broadcaster of choice, you're getting that, that notification system is actually getting utilized and you're going to get that notification, get that notification, get that notification because, well, we're always going live. So, and we produce so much content and we're, and, and we're still working on uploading older sermons uh, to try to complete series and, and just trying to bring older things to make it available as well. You'll get notifications when those older things are uploaded, uploaded as well. So the, the moral of this story, download the Church One app. If you already have downloaded it, update it so that the notifications will work. Now, there is something we're trying to figure out, right? This is something we're trying to figure out. I cannot speak for Android devices. Well, no, according to the one report I got, um, it, this is the same thing has happened on the Android device. But if you go to the Apple App Store, all right, I'm going to go to the Apple App Store really quick. And it says, uh, I'm going to Church One on the, uh, I'm going to the Apple App Store. I'm looking for Church One by Sermon Audio. I found it. And then all of a sudden it says, version history 20 hours ago. So it's version 3.2.1. That's the version you want to make sure you're utilizing. Version 3.2.1. It's it was they they sent it to the App Store I guess around 20 hours ago, but it was just made available a few hours ago. And here's supposedly what's new. Review sermons you have recently played. Easily resume the sermon you were last listening to. See sermon user comments. And proved offline detection, access downloaded sermons via iTunes or Files app. That's interesting. Plus bug fixes. Well, the bug fix was the notification system. But what I'm trying to figure out is review sermons you have recently played. So maybe I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go to Church One. I'm going to go to the Church One app. Okay, I'm going to go to the Church One app. I'm going to find a sermon here. I'm going to go to uh, the thematic method one that that we did yesterday. I'm going to hit play. Okay. It should start here. Okay, so it's playing. Now, I'm going to look here. Okay, there's nothing there. I'm trying to see... I'm trying to see, okay, now that I've played it, see sermons, uh, see here. Yeah, I don't know how you can supposedly review it. And when they say review, are they just saying that it shows you recent sermons? I'm going to go read that again. I'm going to go back to the Apple App Store, okay? Maybe they just mean review sermons you have recently played. I, I'm a, are they just saying review? In other words, see a list of the recent sermons you played or review like you can post a comment. But as of right now, you definitely cannot post a comment from the Church One app. So I don't think that's what they mean, review. That's like give it a review, uh, offer a critique. If you go under the, um, if you go to Sermons 2.0, you can do that. But you can't, uh, you can't do that from, yeah, you cannot do anything like that from the, uh, I'm making sure, yeah, you cannot post a comment. So from the Church One app, you cannot post a comment. So that that's, to me, that's not the biggest deal. If you want to ever post a comment on one of ours, you have to go to the Sermons 2.0 app. I am going to look here really quick just to make sure that they have not made an update. Okay, no, Sermons 2.0, there's, no, there's not a current update. The last update for Sermons 2.0 uh, yeah, I think, I think maybe you're right. I think they just want you to like, oh, you can, you can look back and see the sermons you've recently listened to. So like, oh, what was that sermon I listened to the other day? And you can go to recently played sermons and go, oh, I'm going to review it. I'm going to re-listen to it. I'm going to look at it again. So instead of like posting a review. So, um, I think that that's the right way to look at it. So, um, Okay. All right, so good. Uh, so that that someone else. So, so at least one person. I, I got the notification on my iPad. I know one other person got a notification because they just came into the chat and said that they got a notification. So the notifications are working correctly. So it just seems like the only thing you can't do. 
and I don't even think this was possibly intended, you cannot post a comment on the Church One app, but you can from the Sermons 2.0 app. So I know some people are like, why do I have to have both? Look, that's just the way it works. Um, But to me, you want the Sermons 2.0 app because it's just a library of other content that you want to be able to listen to as well. You can can follow us on the Sermons 2.0 app, but you won't get a notification when we go live. So it's kind of really like the Sermons 2.0 app would be sufficient to take care of everything. However, you don't get a notification when we go live. So you need the Church One app to get the notification that we go live. But think of it this way. The Church One app is for you to choose that one broadcaster you like the best, where you're getting new content constantly and you want notifications. Sermons 2.0 just gives you access to everything and you can search and find sermons based off scriptural reference topic and hashtags or whatever. So I I don't think it's that much... I don't think it takes up that much space on the average device, but it's just really weird. You tell people to download two apps and they're like, what? Are you crazy? And it's like, it's, it's, it's okay. I think, you know, delete, delete that picture of your kitty cat and you'll be good to go. I'm joking. Don't delete the picture of the kitty cat. I'm just joking. Just send all of your photographs up to the iCloud, right? Send it to, send it, get get it off the your device memory and put it somewhere else so that you have room for the Sermons 2.0 app and the Church 1 app. Obviously, we're going to continue to use Spreaker and, can, and hopefully they continue to improve the Spreaker app. I wish they would get better with the notifications on Spreaker app. I really do. But I think most of the time, I think most people would agree they never get a notification on Spreaker. Never. Um, and well, when you're going live, you kind of want people to get the notification so that they can listen to you when you're live. But that's the latest information. Church One has now been updated. The notification is working. Supposedly, if I go back again, the features, this is what they have. You can uh, now easily resume the sermon you were listening to. So you're listening to a sermon and you have to stop. When you go back, it will allow you to resume where you stopped because I know some people were complaining that it doesn't do that. Supposedly, that's now fixed. Um, Just so that you know, um, okay, someone says they always get the Spreaker one. Wow. And that's someone using an Android. That's interesting. We may have to ask people, for those who have the Spreaker uh, app downloaded, is it is it only Android people? Get, is this a weird situation where the Android's actually getting a notification? I, I You can't trust an Android user, so I can't really believe that because it would obviously work better on an Apple device. So there's got to be something. I, there's, there's uh, okay, so... Yeah, there, I, I don't know. But we'll, we'll maybe we'll have to test the notifications for Spreaker, okay? I'm, I'm j- doing a little bit of joking here, but okay, because this is nothing serious. This is just, we're giving updates on all of the things that we're doing. But let's go through the, the updates for the church one again. Easily resume the sermon you were listening to. A lot of people were like, man, if it if it doesn't do that, I'm not going to use the app. I, I, I can't also just tell you this. If you get ready to stop a sermon, you can just look at where you stopped, and then when you go back and play, you can just fast forward right back to that part. But okay, but this should fix that. Uh, you can see the comments, and again, let me just say, if 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 you and I and I and I please, I don't want you to think that I'm asking you to make anything up. But if you listen to something and you you have anything positive to say, if you can just take a few seconds to go to the Sermons 2.0 app, find the sermon, and post a comment. It's not so much that people using the Church One will see it. It's the fact that people on the Sermons 2.0 app will see it, and that helps find new listeners. So it's it's just an easy thing you can do, um, but it's it's uh, it means a lot to us. Um, So those are probably the two big the big things. So I think also the new update for the Church One app is supposed to fix it. I think Android users were having this problem that if their screen timed out, right? If the screen timed out. Or if they just left it there, it would the sermon would stop. Supposedly, it, that's supposed to be fixed. So all I can tell you, this is one. I, no, it's not that I can tell you this. I can beg <laughs> this for the next couple of days. Just use the Church One app, and if there are problems, let, contact. Well, first contact Sermon Audio and let them know the problems. 
all right? But you can send me a list of the problems and I will let them know as well. What they have a tendency to do is, well, you're the only person who's told us that. So, you know, if we get any other reports and I'm like, I'm getting the reports, but I think sometimes it's like, no, you're not really getting the reports. But if you, if you, but please contact me and I will let them know. And if there's something that you don't like, let me know. Just, I do have to say this, and it's not trying to be mean, but there's only so much I can do, all right? Okay, there's only so much I can do. I'm not rich. It's not like we're getting, you know, thousands of dollars coming in per month to this ministry. So all I can do is find as many platforms as I can possibly find to make our content available. Sometimes it's like there's only so much I can do, right? We're on the Spreaker app. We're on the Church One app. We're on the uh, we're on the Sermon Audio Solo site where you can listen to the webcast there. We're theologycentral.net. You can listen to us live there. We're available on every podcasting app under the sun. Okay, I mean we're, we're available on everything. So there's only so many apps I can I can make it work. I tried to get us on sermons.net where you could use that app. The only problem is it just messes up our messes up the audio, it just it art- artificially grabs my microphone and t- cranks it to 100. So I, I can't currently do that. Um, but trust me, I'm always looking. There's one other thing we could possibly try. I'll have to look into it. If we can afford it, I think I can work it where we could go live on on another platform. And I'd have to see what kind of app they have. So Maybe I can do, maybe I can work that as well. I don't know. I'm always looking. I'm always looking. There's just, just only so much I can do. Um, I'm going to go look at all the comments because uh, I see more, I, I see a number there that's far greater than what I'm seeing on my screen. So let me look here, make sure I'm not missing people's comments. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, it says still closed out the minute I left the app. Wow. So on the Android, it's still closing out the minute they left the app. That is crazy. All right, well, that's not going to make Android users happy. That's not going to make Android users happy. Let let me try. Let me try. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to uh, Church One. I'm going to now. Where you? I'm going to, I'm going to go to Church One. I'm going to play a sermon. I'm going to go to the thematic method. Oh, it's a let me resume. So I'm going to hit yes, resume. Okay. See if it's going to play. There we go. So it's playing. Now I'm going to just. Okay. I can go to other apps and it's still playing. Okay. All right. So that's, that's working fine. So this is what I would ask the, the person who's trying this for us live on the air. Um, when you when uh, it still closed out the minute I left the app, was that the live stream that closed out, or did you just try to play a sermon and leave the app? Right, because I need to know: is it the live stream that's cutting out, or is it the playing a sermon that's cutting out? If they can check that, really, I know that means they're going to have to stop listening to me right now, but that's okay. And uh, someone says that they are using an iPad, so that's good. They're definitely not a heretic. All right, that's good. But but we have to show grace to those who, who who are not using Apple devices. Okay, so I'm waiting for the Android user to tell me. Open up the Church One app, play a sermon, not the live feed. Leave the app. No, close the app out. But obviously, just leave the app to go to other apps to do other things. That's not playing audio. And see if it closes out your sermon that you're listening to. All right. Um, we're waiting. I know. I know. We're just waiting. I, I don't have any. I don't have Jeopardy music to play. I don't. Probably because there's a copyright on it. I don't have any. Uh, nope. I don't have. I, we could do the mystery sound. Okay. It's a mystery, right? So I guess we could do that sound. All right. Um, we're waiting to see. We're waiting to see if the Android user will tell us what's happening here. If it's, if it's, if the, at least if the on-demand sermons work and you can play 
go do other things, then okay. If that stops, then that's still a problem. If it's the live stream, that would still be unfortunate. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to church one. I'm going to click on the live stream. I'm going to click on the live stream here. See if it'll start playing. If it's, if it's, okay. At least if the on-demand now, sermons work. And okay. Play, I'm going to other apps other things, and okay. it's working. If that stops, then that's still a problem. If it's the live stream. Okay, so it works fine on the Apple device. It works fine on the Apple device. And I'm, uh, so I, on the Apple device, I can play a sermon, uh, an on, uh, I'll say a, a ser- an on-demand sermon, and I can not close the app, obviously, but I can leave the app and go to other apps and the audio still plays. I can go to the live stream on the Church One app, not close it out, but go to a different app. Obviously, that's not playing audio, and uh, the Church One continues to play. So at least for the iPad, it, it, there is no problem here. I cannot speak for the Android as far, well, something was closing out um, the minute I left the app. So I don't know what they were playing. I don't know if it was the live stream. I don't know if it was a sermon on demand, but um, there we go. And I, it is interesting. I'm going to look at my Spreaker app here for a second. I'm going to look at my Spreaker app and I'm going to look at something. I'm going to look at my settings I'm going to look at my, I bet you have to log in. I was going to look and see if they had where the notifications were. Oh, it says notifications for new episodes available. Huh, they don't say anything about a live, but okay. Um, That's interesting. All right. Okay. Okay, good, good. All right. So, it, it, when you're when you're lo- so if you're using an Android and you're listening to us live on Church One and you try to go to a different app, which obviously you should never go to a different app when you're listening to me live because what else could you do? Because I mean, your attention should be on me. But no. So if you're using an Android app and you're listening to me uh, you're using uh, the Church One app on an Android device and you go to a different app, it's going to stop the audio. However, if you're listening to an older sermon using the Church One app and you go use a different app, it does not cut it off. So that is interesting. Um, someone uh, else said, listening live on Church One, left, went to uh, browse uh, Safari and still came to hear you, meaning they're using an Apple device. So, all right. So we're, we're getting a little bit better. Maybe they can just now fix that when you're listening to a live stream on Church One and you go somewhere else for an Android device, it will not cut off. I'll have to see what we can do about that. Maybe they will make it where people can actually leave a comment on the Church One app. That would be great. Um, and maybe what I, I keep asking them to do is to make notifications available for the Sermons 2.0 app because it would be amazing that someone could hit... Because on the Sermons 2.0 app, you can follow now broadcasters. And then you you have a tab on the Sermons 2.0 app that says feed. And whatever their newest message is will show up in your feed. So you can follow us on the Sermons 2.0 app. The only problem is on the Sermons 2.0 app, you don't get an actual notification when I go live. Now, uh, it will update your feed, but I don't th- you don't get a notification sent to you that new content is available. So uh, that's the... That's, I, I'm still asking them to bring their notification. I mean, they've already, per- in some ways, perfected the notification system. So just bring it over to the Sermons 2.0 app. Because I would set it to, to send me a notification every time anyone goes live. It would be crazy on a Sunday. It'd be like, bing, bing, bing. It'd just be like 500 notifications. But it would just be cool through, like, to take one day and just say, whoever goes live on Sermons 2.0, I'm going to listen to. I'm just going to wait for the notification. Uh, that would be uh, interesting. All right. So we found out a couple of things here. We found out a couple of things. Um, I don't think we need to talk anymore because we got other things to do. So I will say this. If you're listening to us today, Please download the Church One app and search for Theology Central and choose us as the broadcaster of choice. If you hear this on another podcasting app, by all means, continue to use that that podcasting app if you would like. I would just say download the Church One app. 
Inside the Church One app, make sure you check your settings, make sure all the notifications are on, and at least you have the ability to listen to us live if you ever so desire. And um, you have the access, and if you're looking for older content, the Church One app is much more organized. Everything is broken into series, right? So I think that is that that is just another plus from it. If you like go to your podcasting app and you try to find something, because I always get notifications or not notifications, I get contacted emails or messages saying, hey, I can, do you have a message on this? Do you have a message on this? And I'm, I'm like, well, I do. And it's like either they have to try to, they're like, but I've been scrolling. But it, like, if you go to church one, you you can probably figure out which series that, that kind of message would be under. And the search feature for Sermons 2.0 and Church One works pretty good in finding content. So those are some things. That was one, That was an early request early on was I, I, how can people search for your content? Well, now uh, Church One Sermons 2.0 is another way of fixing that. Some podcast apps are pretty good, but I mean, you're, uh, it may be hard to find a, a specific thing that you're looking for unless you know the t- specific title. All right. I think that's everything. All right, so good news today. I was hoping for this notification to, or for this update to happen so that the notifications would work, and I think we've accomplished that. So that's we're off to a good start today. All right, now thanks for listening. We'll take a break and then we'll come back live. And you should get notifications if you have updated your app. Um, I will continue to see what I can do to improve the Android app by talking to Sermon Audio. I will do everything I can to try to make it uh, a viable option. Some people definitely don't like the Church One app. They're just like, not going to use it, not going to use it, not going to use it. And um, I understand, but uh, there's <laughs> there's only so many apps I can make available. Now, if you have, you know, I don't know, $100,000 you would like to donate today, you know what? You send me 100000 I'll start hiring someone to start building us a standalone app, and you can send me all the features you want, okay? <laughs> or you can hire someone to build us a standalone app that'll, that gives you all the features you want. I just don't know. It would have to, I don't know how it would be able to, us to be able to go live on it. I don't know exactly how they could uh, set that up. But hey, if you want to set it, if you want to pay to have it all set up, then you can have the app of your choice. But there's only so many I can make available. Uh, and uh, I think we've done a, I think we've done a pretty good job. I think most podcasts probably have not done as much as we have to make things available on as many platforms as possible. We, we definitely have worked hard to do so. So hopefully you can find something that will meet your needs. However, please still let me know what you don't like and what we can do because I will do everything I can just there is a limit to what I can accomplish, all right? Again, unless you want to send me, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand dollars, then I can probably, you know, man, I can just start hiring people to say, hey, hey, I need you to work on this. Hey, can you work on this? Hey, can you work on this? And now, you know, I can pay them the money. They can get it already, and then we can we can try it out. But currently, <laughs> that's not going to happen. All right, thanks for listening. We'll be back live shortly. You can email me, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. The big news for right now is the Church One app has been updated. The notifications are back. That update is available for Android and Apple. Update the app or download the app, whichever is most applicable for you. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. We'll be back in about 10. God bless.